Hi class. I hope everyone is doing really well. Today I am going to teach you how you can continue to practice piano without a piano. So what I need you to do is take out a piece of paper and you're going to pull it out like this. Now you know you can have it the long way or the wide way. So we want the paper to <clears throat> be like this and you are going to take this point and this point and you are going to connect the two like this. You're going to try to make it as straight as possible so that both points on every corner can connect. <clears throat> And this is what you should have. <clears throat> and then you will be able to open it up like this. Very good. So now, doesn't matter which side you pick, we're going to take this sheet of paper and we're going to divide it into a bunch of little squares. So take your finger and you want to make a little dot like this. And you're going to do that again and again and you're going to do that all the way to the end of the paper and this is where you will begin to connect your lines so let's continue doing this until we get to the end them all to be as even as you can make them. And we want to make them the width of your finger so your finger fits inside the keys just like it would on a real piano. So don't rush through this, take your time. There you go. So I did it until I got all the way to the end. I try to do it as evenly as possible. And then what you should do is take something that has a straight edge and you want to place it right on the line that you gave yourself kind of as a placement area and just trace that line all the way down till you get to the bottom. And it should start to look something like this. You could also use the edge of a book. And this might actually be better because then you can keep your line a little bit straighter. So I'm going to use a book, kind of continue going. And soon it's going to start to look more and more like a piano, which is what we want because this little paper is going to help you practice. So you see, I made a mistake in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eraser and I'm going to fix that line. And I'm going to fix these first few lines just to make it a little bit straighter. So here I go. I'm going to try to fix those lines that I messed up in the beginning. There you go. So now we have the completed piano. But a piano also has black keys. So we need to start drawing some of those black keys. So we're going to start by drawing a group of two. So we're going to draw some boxes like this. Two boxes on top of the first two lines. One, two. Then you're going to skip a line and then you're going to draw three boxes like this. One, two, 
three. Until you have something that kind of looks like this. I'm going to use purple for my groups of twos and orange for my groups of threes. So first start out by coloring in all your groups of twos. All of your groups of twos. Next, you're going to color all your groups of threes. This should be finished. And now you have a piano that looks like this, kind of. Whatever colors you decide. So I'm going to use blue, red, and green. My C is going to be blue. So my first key is going to be C. And then I'm going to find all my Cs on the piano. And it will be easy to find my C because, as you can see, it's right in front of the group of two. Then you will draw in all your Ds. And then you will draw in all your E's. So here are the colors that I'm going to use. So I'm going to start with F. So F comes right after E. G comes right after F. A comes right after G. And B comes after A. Now, we are going to open up our page. And create kind of like a little music stand for ourselves. So we can open up like this. We're going to fold that in half. Like that. Just so we can leave it. We are going to draw an arrow. So for this, I'm going to use a marker. Because I really want it to stand out. So I'm going to use a black marker, if I can find one. But it doesn't really matter what color the marker is, as long as you can see what it says. So since I do not have a black marker, I will now use brown. You're going to draw one arrow going to the right. another arrow going to the left.
you're going to want to draw some guidelines for yourself like this. You have completed your keyboard will look something like this. And you will have labeled your low side and your high side down going that way to the left up going to the right and when you're practicing you're going to take your thumb right hand and you're going to place it on middle c then your second finger right hand d e f and g and then you can actually practice c d e d c c d e f g f e d c and then you can do the same thing with your left hand you can place your thumb on c your second finger on b a g and f and you can go c b a b c c b a g f g a b c very good once you have labeled your keys you can place your right hand on middle C and so your thumb would go on C, second finger would go on D, third finger would go on E, fourth finger would go on F, fifth finger would go on G, C, B, A, G, F. And then you can go C, D, E, D, C, C, B, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C.